But our data tells us that about 900 billion cups of chai are consumed in India every year. Now, how do we unlock the social power behind all these moments? How do we enrich these moments? Is a mammoth task and that's what we are after. I think I'm driven by massive opportunities. I'm a huge believer in delayed gratification and I'm very persistent. So persistence, delayed gratification, and massive opportunity. Those are the three parameters that would define me as an entrepreneur. I think, you know, people find it very difficult to sort of appreciate as to how important a role technology plays in our setup. Uh, first and foremost, it has a lot to do with the team at Chai Point, really. I mean, we come from a technology background, a whole big chunk of the management team, that is. So we appreciated long ago that our pursuit is omni-channel. This market is so large, right? I'm talking close to a trillion number, trillion cups of chai consumed a year. This market is so large that if we have to reach to as many customers as possible, we will have to embrace technology. We will have to make sure that the omni-channel outlook of the brand really works. You know, fundamentally, there are two stages which I think, at least personally for me, were very relevant as an entrepreneur. Number one is a stage when you are still in the inception mode and you are spawning off something, but there is a lingering doubt whether it is actually going to take the kind of shape you want it to. This is the time when you are building teams where you're trying to attract good, smart people to work along with you. This is the time when you're looking for seed capital. And once you raise, raise that seed capital, this is also the time when you're trying to justify the results to the early investors. Those are the guys who are the max risk takers in your idea. This brings a certain pressure, a certain intensity, a certain doubt, which frankly can change a person quite dramatically. So that's phase one for me. And when that happened, I went through a gut wrenching time, uh, candidly, both on personal fronts as well as, you know, on professional fronts, trying to evolve as a solid more hardened CEO. The second stage is when the idea is slowly taking shape and the doubt that it's not going to scale or it's not going to become big slowly fizzles out. But the question that comes in front of you is, how big will it be? How much of an impact can it make? And this is the stage where you take the second leap, where you get you know, serious investors to come and back you where you try to look for teams which are already experienced and proven in their track record. And this is the stage where the competition headwinds also start hitting you. You're out there in the market as a young baby, you know, competing in this huge market amongst established players. This is another stage where you get hardened. You really rediscover a lot of aspects. You rediscover your priorities. You rediscover the balance between innovation and sheer execution. And this also can completely change a person's perspective, can completely change an individual. And it did that to me. We are very clear that stores is possibly the most important brand platform for us to reach to the consumer, but it's not the only one. We are building a huge delivery platform to take chai close to the consumer's homes or to their place of work. Boxy, a huge investment area, our own line of packaged products. So it's an all around integrated play to build the brand so that we own the ritual of chai, so that we are a part of the way of life of the Indian consumer, especially around chai. That's how we differ. Most of the brands are looking at a single channel. Nobody has a multi-channel approach to build a brand around chai like we do. So, you know, our data started telling us that 55 to 60 percent of the consumption of chai and coffee actually happens at workplaces. People like to get over, get off from their seat, walk over to the pantry and have their daily fix of chai or coffee. We realize that if we have to be truly a brand that participates in this massive ritual, we will have to develop a dispenser platform to cater to this huge market. That led to the development of Boxy. We own the patent for it. In fact, it may just be the only Android-based machine uh, to deliver a great cup of chai as well as filter coffee. To attract talent is goal number one. We're trying to build a culture which is very ambitious, 
but which has a very small team mindset. Even in a company of our size, the best products were launched by a team of two or three or four. So I have come to appreciate really the power of small teams and that's the culture that we want to build.